Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Really excited today, guys. I'm going to be playing Sniper Elite VR. I've been really looking forward to this game, guys. I hope this is uh, better than Medal of Honor. I've been trying to avoid the trailers, but so far, I've been hearing good reports about the game, so... Today, I'm playing on the Rift S. A big thank you to uh, Oculus and the developers for this review key. Now, later on tonight, there should be a video of me playing the game on the Quest 2 as well. And I'm also going to be doing a comparison video, some Quest 2 gameplay against the Rift S gameplay, so... Without further ado, let's go dive in. Sniper Elite VR. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump into the options menu. Game, we have uh, subtitles, tutorial, calibrate height, comfort, sprint vignette, I want off, smooth turn dot. Um, those are not highlighted, so comfort scope, I'll leave that alone for now. Controls, we're going for smooth. Rotation speed is on medium. Movement mode. Free move forwards. Right-handed. Manual reload. The graphics are on medium. These are the default settings when I started the game, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. And let's start a new game. Right-handed. Intense. Okay, difficulty. Marksman is challenging. Okay. Italy. In this age, it is easy to lose sight of what we have. Family, freedom, peace. Forty years ago, the world, this place, were very different. Not a day passes when I do not think of that time, when I'm not thankful that I am still here. Thankful for them. Why did we fight? We fought so they would not have to. So they would never have to live through the horrors we faced. After capturing Sicily, the Allies prepared to assault mainland Italy. While the Nazis strengthened their defenses in the south, we partisans fought to weaken them and hasten the end of fascist control of our homeland. Okay, guys. The town of Pazzano was under attack. We fought to hold the Nazis back and to buy time for my partisan comrades to capture one of their artillery pieces. Okay guys, this looks really, really nice. That opening scene looked really, really cool as well. We've got dust particles here, look. Okay, walk here. I needed a rifle. Okay, we're going to grab the gun. Stow the rifle by putting it over your shoulder. And bullets too. Okay. I moved to the window. The town was already burning. Rifle ammo full. Okay, guys, I'm liking the Half-Life Alex style grab mechanic. This looks really, really cool, guys. And this is on the medium settings. I'm going to leave it on medium so that you get a really nice video to watch. It's running super smooth. 
If I was to play this game and not record, I'd have the graphics on high settings, guys. Draw your rifle by grabbing it from shoulder. Pull the bolt. Grab ammo. Okay. Okay. I took a few moments to test the weapon and my aim. Raise and look through the scope. This is going to be really interesting. I have to say, guys, right off the bat, Rebellion Software, one of my favourite developers. I love their zombie sniper games, guys. I've got all four in the collection. Okay, that's interesting. Squeeze the trigger to fire. Targets. I rushed to rechamber the rifle. Okay, I do like the mechanics. Hold to steady aim. Okay, so do I... Oh, there we go. That's really cool. Okay, guys, I'm getting some really good vibes already. If you lose a weapon, you can recover it by grabbing the empty holster. Okay, let's try again. Zoom in. Before leaving, I used the radio to send my position to my comrades. This feels so authentic, guys. This game is losing quality. I've only just been playing it five minutes. And I can tell already. Okay, we've got... Smooth turning. And this is really, really smooth. Okay. Save and continue. Saving checkpoint. Checkpoint saved. Oh crap. Okay, there's some vignette when I get hit. I'm not a fan of the vignette when I get hit, guys. Although it seemed hopeless, Dante led from the front rallying us to hold the walls. I had to get to Dante and help him. Okay, there's bullets coming through the gate. Hold down your left thumbstick to run. Yeah, there's a, a vignette when you get hit from damage. Before I could reach him, Dante was gone. I would mourn later, but first I had an enemy to kill. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is going to be so cool. Oh! Yes! Perfect! I dropped my gun. Oh, my friend's dead. Okay, guys, this is just like the uh, zombie games with the, uh, the bullet cam and everything. I'm out. Okay. How did that miss? I need some ammo. Okay. Okay, shoot the barrel. Let me shoot the barrel. Okay, this is really realistic, guys, with the bullets sitting the sandbags, the effects and everything. I'm going to have so much fun with this game. And there's an option to turn the bullet cam, make it happen even more. So I might go back into the options menu and get that bullet cam to work even more. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Okay, guys, I've only ever seen that before on a flat screen monitor. I've never seen it in VR before. That's in glorious 3D. That looks so cool. Is that a bad guy? Is he on my side? 
Okay, there's a vignette appears. Look, when I hold down my focus for too long, there's like a vignette. Again, I'm not a fan of the vignette. Two for one. That was in the heart. I need ammo. I do feel quite safe behind this uh, this wall. Oh crap! I spoke too soon. Okay, guys, the that felt really powerful. I actually felt like it was a real blast. That's how realistic this game is. I'm impressed. This is my new favorite VR game. Okay, let's go for a nut shot. Snipe combo broken. That looks amazing in 3D. See what I mean? VR makes all the difference, guys. Okay, let me try and take out one more. I was going for a nut shot, but he's hiding now, look. Oh! Through the eyeball. Okay, let me make a run for it. Grab some loot on the way. I'm full. I've got two shots left. Let's go in here. Our leader, my friend, had given his life begging the Allies to send help. We didn't know if it was coming, but for his sake, we hoped and we fought on. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm getting a better impression of this game than I did playing Medal of Honor. Okay, we need to make our way across the rooftops, don't we? There's a guy down there, look. This sniper mechanic's really good as well. I have to be careful though, I keep getting my, my mic in the way. Ooh, straight through the cranium. Okay, let's go over the rooftops. There's a really, really cool effect with the, like the ash coming through the uh, through the streets. He's on my side. Sound mask. Okay, so this game's got like a, a sound masking mechanic, which means you can only fire. Is that bad guy? Oh, that's perfect. I love that. Okay, I got stuck on this piece of wood here, though. Okay, reload. It looks like there's going to be parts of the game, guys, where you have to fire at a certain time when the sound is masked. Okay, can I shoot this guy through this window here, look? Through the skull. That is glorious. Okay, are we safe there now? I love the uh, loading mechanic as well. Okay, I got hit there. The tanks had arrived and we had nothing that could stop them. Our comrades had to capture that artillery gun. Crap, the tanks are coming in. There's one there. Being attacked by tanks. Steady, steady. Okay, I think I need to reach the, the radio. captured artillery destroyed the tank and bought us another chance. Okay, I missed that. Mission complete. That was fun, guys. I wanted it to go on a bit longer. I wanted that to go on a bit longer, but never mind. I think um, you have to press the radio to blow the tanks up. The Nazi attack had been a reprisal for the death of a senior German officer. The kill ordered by Dante, the fatal bullet fired 
by me. The Germans knew we were responsible, and they struck back without mercy, killing partisans and villagers alike. It was a slaughter. Okay. With Dante's death, we'd lost our leader. It would have been easy for us to give up, to lose hope. Instead, we strengthened our resolve. We would need it for what was still to come. Okay, this is really cool. You can choose your loadout slot. This place has so many memories. It would have been easy for us to give up, to lose hope. Instead, Dante and his partisans needed an isolated place to hide out and train, and my father wanted to help. Our home became the headquarters for the local resistance. This is where my father taught me to shoot. Okay. This looks so realistic. This is really, really cool. Now, this feels like a AAA VR game. So, this is the uh, rifle range. We've got pistols here, look. Okay. Grab some ammo. Okay, that's full. Ten rounds, three second rounds, score for accuracy, bonus for time remaining. Okay, I've got you. Yeah, the weapons feel really nice, guys. They feel really powerful. They've got the perfect sound, perfect feedback. Okay. How do I... Okay. Okay, put a new clip in there. And the backgrounds look amazing as well with the mountains in the background over there. Can I shoot the the vase? Okay. Yes, you can. Let me check out, um, I think I'm crouching, yeah. So let me check out some more weapons. Let me check out the uh, machine guns. What's in here? What is this? A Mauser. So that's a German pistol. And this feels really authentic as well. Okay, I don't need the Mauser. Let me check out this. Automatic weapons here. Yeah, I do believe this is a Sten. Okay, grab the ammo. Shotgun ammo. SMG. So there is a shotgun somewhere as well. Ten rounds. Okay, let's do this. I just want to check out these weapons, guys. That feels amazing. They got this spot on, guys. The physics and everything's just spot on.
Okay guys, so I'm assuming that it's not just about sniping in this game. You've got like automatic weapons as well. That feels awesome guys, it really does. Yeah, that's great. Oh, and there's kickback on the weapon as well, look. If I don't hold it two-handed, you get kickback on the gun lock. Okay. So let me check out the barn. What's in here? Okay, I can't grab the notes. Lots of World War II memorabilia. They've been playing cards. The barn is highlighted, guys. Okay, sniper range. He would stay here for hours, making me practice with his Carcano M91, a relic from the Great War, critiquing every shot. Okay, shoot the targets. I drew on the hours I had spent with father's rifle. Calmness, focus, breathing, these were the skills I honed. I love seeing the bullet trail. Where is he? Okay, that one's quite far away. That was in the leg. Nice. I missed. I knew where each shot would land before I even pulled the trigger. Okay, I've got an achievement. Let me take the rifle with me just in case. Okay. I've earned a reward for my Oculus Home as well. Let me uh, go through here. An ugly weapon, but effective. Hold to aim. Nice. Speed of thought and action. The shot became natural, like throwing a stone. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I've now unlocked all the different ranges, guys. I'm going to have to go through these quickly. I trained at every opportunity, pushing myself to perfect my skills. So the beauty of playing these types of games in VR, guys, is you shoot your weapons as if it's like real life. So you're targeting and everything just like it would be in real life. I began to feel at one with the weapon. I soon lost count of the hours I spent at those ranges. My comrades' lives might depend on me hitting my target. Where's the shotgun then? A shotgun somewhere. 
These weapons could be devastating if controlled properly. And I'm going to compare this version of the game to the uh, Quest version as well. Precision mattered less than speed. Okay, just remember, I put the gun down here. Just remember, guys, if you're playing the game for the first time, and this tutorial, if you uh, drop a weapon somewhere, make sure you know where you drop it. In the early days, we had to make do with what we had, doing our best to pick the right tool for the job. We often had to gather what weapons and supplies we could from the battlefield, slowly improving our arsenal. All right, place your weapons into the loadout crates. Okay, let me go for the, uh, like the Beretta. Put that in there. And put that in there as well. So you can choose different weapons to take with you. I don't see any machine guns anywhere. And then you just save the loadout. That's pretty cool. Okay, no objective. Mission complete. Over time, the repetition of training helped me to separate the shots from the lives I took. Okay, so let me uh, check out the next mission. We've done that one. Okay. Help from above. In the moments before his death, Dante had made contact with the Allies and begged them for help. We could only keep fighting, hope that they heard and pray they would be here in time. The artillery had loosened the Nazis' grip and we pushed forward. From the tower, I could slow the enemy, but we would need help from above to stop them. Okay, what was that? Lost letter found. Okay, we've got a selection of different uh, weapons here. This is like a rifle. Okay, is that like a machine gun? Ouch! Okay. Kill it with an explosion. Father had taken charge of the unit. But he was no leader. As the enemy closed in on us, I knew only I could save my comrades from being overrun. Okay. So the diamonds are my friends I need to save. Where's he gone? worked. The Allies had sent a bomber to try to cut off the enemy. Tried to shoot him through the uh, truck. Okay, where's he gone? One there, look. I missed. Okay, these guys are moving as well. They're running.
There we go. In the neck. Okay, where are they? Okay, oh, over here. Okay, let me try, uh, try this machine gun. Okay, that worked. Shoot the ball. Yeah. Okay, so this is for close-up range. It wasn't much, oh. but if it could destroy the bridges, it might be enough. Okay, what was that for? I'm loving the uh, sense of height as well. Can I go upstairs? Oh, wow. I can go over even higher up. Okay, is that a save point? Saving checkpoint. There's a Panzerfest there. Okay. Here we go. Take out... Um, Father had to fall back. Okay. The area was too overrun, and it was up to me to hold off before the bomber arrived. Okay. I just saw a plane in the sky. I can hear a plane. Ouch. Ooh. The jaw. He's not going to be kissing anyone. Can't be shot from somewhere. Oh, headshot. Okay, where are they? Over there. In, come in. Even in the face of our own deaths, the bravery of that crew inspired us. Okay, this is quite hard, guys. I'm sure that was a hit. Nice. Oh, that was his back. Is he dead? Through the ribs. Okay, any more? I can hear a bomber. Yes. One bridge destroyed, the other damaged. Nice. We had a chance and had to take it. Okay, guys, really, really enjoying this game. It's got AAA written all over it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to record my impressions of the Quest 2. 
I'm also going to do a side-by-side -side comparison video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.